Reiki Feeding Souls. On day two, we went to the fresh market. I have always wanted to take people to the fresh market and we got to go and what was really cool was the feedback that I got from the group. The really, really cool part was I got them to try all these crazy breakfast things that we eat in the morning as Thais. Um, we started off, literally, when we walked in, we saw this guy just hacking at these lemongrass stalks. They were so beautiful. I personally have never seen it before. They use so much lemongrass here in Phuket, in the southern part of Thailand, and it was so fragrant. It just waked up all our senses. So cool. This is something we also don't get much in the States, but in Texas, they do try to grow it. It's called Bai Bua Bo. This is what we Thai people crave so much. So in the States, you guys don't give us the roots. We cook so much and make so much paste and dishes with the roots because it smells so much more intense um, than just the leaves. Oh, so good, so awesome. We walked around, we saw a fresh fish, we saw frogs, we saw uh, chickens, porks, all parts, nose to tail of all these amazing fresh ingredients through this wholesale market and dried shrimp. Dried shrimp paste. We use so much grappi. Grappi does not smell good, but it has so much umami in it. Something that is on the go, quick steak food is the barbecue pork. We have barbecue pork on the stick. We eat it with sticky rice. It all comes in this bag. You do one bite back and forth and it's so yummy. Pretty good. We had um, a little dessert and the guy who was cutting it for us was so proud. He made this little sticky rice cubes with um, egg custard on top. And even though all of us were like trying it and we bit into it and making extremely weird faces, um, but he was still so proud, wanted to serve it and they serve it on this beautiful um, banana leaf. Last but not least, when we walked through the market, at the end, I found my favorite fruit of all time. Fruit is kanun, jackfruit, fresh jackfruit. Who's had fresh jackfruit before? Was it at, not at the buffet line this morning? Oh my gosh, awesome. He's, are you starting to see it? Mmm! So, you want some? <laughs> Chef, no, I got the message. We were working behind the scenes to get Chef Noir to our cooking class, and he came, he showed up, and he freaking inspired us. It was so cool to start off with our first cooking class at Sway Restaurant, and what was awesome was we have everyone on this trip is their first time. Lime juice, the fish We basically did a fused Thai cooking class, but with the most simple dishes that we all grew up in. We did som tam, we did tom yam, and then we did pad thai. Who doesn't know these three things? For a really cool experience, I took our soul seekers to Mukmani. But the cool part was we got to get the seafood literally still alive and kicking. Literally, the lobster was still kicking. 
and to take it, you pretty much pick your seafood, then you take it to the restaurant and they charge you by the kilo of how you want to prepare it. And we basically selected all the different ways to prepare all the different seafood. We ordered um, shrimp, we ordered lobster, we ordered um, squid and uh, abalone. We ordered, oh my goodness, what else did we, what did we not order? and he decided to make us a little special drink. So this is a little extraction from the um, seven color lobster that we picked. So we technically, he's calling it the lobster blood. Cause I'm curious, I've actually personally have never had this before. Anybody else want to cheers with me? Okay guys, we gotta cheer. Cheers. Cheers. Anyone else? Anyone else? <laughs> we ordered everything, but when we were trying to figure out how we're gonna lay out the spread, we did the shrimp, we grilled it. When we did the lobster, we did lobster thermidor. We did um, a garlic squid. This is the, my favorite way to have squid. And these squids have eggs inside and it, it just takes you to another level. Oh you have this chewiness on the outside and the soft little inside, you know, so cool, so okay. yummy. We had all these different things and the experience, full on experience is to walk through um, on the side of the coast where you actually get to interact with the fishermen who caught all this fresh seafood talk to them, let them show you how passionate of all the things that they caught for the day to tell you, you need to get this, you need to try that, and then to bring it over and actually enjoy it. I always do a little blessing when I actually get to experience a live product that actually ends up on our plate. I have to do a little blessing, thank the universe, thank them for coming and feeding our soul, and it was definitely a soul feeding experience. Nikki Feeding Souls.